Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Steins Gate and well actually a double episode but before I do talking about them and possible spoilers here is a little Nazi promotion. Please be sure to check out all these links in the description box where you'll also find links to this reaction video and episode 21 and 22. Uh, there is. It's really hard to talk about because it, there is so much feeling with this. I mean. It, Majori getting parts of this literally that she see it like dreams you know that that all her deaths that she see them and that makes me think and in general I mean as I mentioned in the video literally every time we all have a weird dream you know that like oh man what am I fi I'm fighting vampires I die by falling Maybe that is every time someone switching the timeline to a different world line. I mean, obviously it's just literally uh, random thought, but still I think it makes sense. And as Carissa was talking about that, all the world lines, and I think I talked about it in, way back actually, that all of them are like connected that we remember it as dreams, that illusion. We don't really know about all of these things because obviously, uh, first of all, probably our brains can't comprehend the fact that there's like 20 versions of me and all of this is connected to these different lines where it all, I can imagine like this is the main line and from the main line go small, small lines to connect to each other. So everyone is connected by these small, small lines it takes form of, of like dreams for us. I mean, in the sense that that I guess it's a fairy that works in that sense. I mean, obviously there is so many possibilities of this, and then of course we ret in the end of this we, we returned to the alpha line, and Carissa dies, or at least gonna die. I don't know how it's how it happened, and the thing. There was, well, obviously, one another thing I reacted. I mean, obviously, the. Kurisa and Okabe being. That was so sweet and so sad, my fucking. And then uh, Kurisa trying to rush back and tell that she loves him too. And of course, right before that, that the timeline changes. And then Majuri saying that. You don't need to fight anymore. You don't need to hold back. You can cry and all that. Like, it's like she knows about all the changes. That kind of makes me a little bit what the what? And then, of course, at the end of episode 22, as every one of you have been telling me that there is a bit of an extra scene. World War fucking free? Ain't two of them enough? I mean, they kind of screw up enough of the world as it is. Are we gonna add a third one? And it goes by... And then she is in the future again, Susa, and she didn't go back? I mean, seriously, I'm terrible, sorry, I'm assuming myself, but I'm... I'm, I'm there is so many things that makes this... I freaking love this. This is an amazing show, seriously. And I do know that there is two types of episode 23, 23 and 23B. I think I should watch 23B first and then 23. I'm not entirely sure how it was, but if Jaman and everyone else of you out there, please remind me how which one I should watch first, because there was some slightly difference between them, and watching 23B might be better, if I understand it correctly. And 
then I probably will make a double episode of that because I feel that it probably is best to do that with 23 and 23B at least. Oh my god, these two episodes have been... They have been emotional. I mean, it's been lots of emotion in this show. And it took it up a bit, a little bit right now. I mean, seeing all of these. First, Susaha dies. Well, go back in time and it got screwed up. Uh, Faris, Ruka, Moeka, everyone, their dreams and hopes. Well, the dreams they had been reset and it will all be like a dream for them. I guess that in a sense is a blessing, you know, that, oh, they only remember that it's dreams. But Okabe carries all this and knowing that in a different timeline, it was real for them. Their dream, what they wished for was real. It, it's, I mean, this show definitely going on with the idea of, first of all, time, how it different, how it affects and all that. But the morality of it as well, that the, the thing he do, is it right? Is it not? Because there is so many things and it's so hard to, I mean, in that sense, it doesn't hurt Ruka or Faris and all that because they don't remember. I mean, it's like, uh, I consider the day I die, I won't be sad. I might fear death before it happens, but... When I die, it's nothing. I won't feel anything. People around the will. And I guess it's the same sense with the timeline changes and all that. That the people don't realize it. As mostly realize, it, well, this is some weird dream. I mean, wow. that is. I mean, I dreamed I was a T-Rex. And what was that about? That was just weird. And uh, though in that sense, as we have seen... These dreams do affect the characters really, re re really well, but really much, and uh, give them their these dreams they, they that they do have. I mean, like Ruka, that he wanted to be a girl because he he had feelings for Okabe, and that dream was probably made because of the timeline changes. So in that sense, everything is already set. It happens. I mean, oh my god, I'm serious. I'm there was sort of a different rant here, but the concept of time, timelines, world lines, and all of this is really interesting and so full of paradoxes and symbolism. I mean, there is so many things that we can't... I mean, even if there is a certain thing that this is set, this is how... It, and it's like the concept that the future already happened. We just haven't been there yet. I mean, by that, that very idea of time machines is that you go back in time means that the future already exists, even if it doesn't. I mean, it's such a paradox. It, it's crazy. I mean, in a future, my hand have healed. The future exists in that sense, because in the future, my hand have healed. Or maybe I I die, maybe I in the future, the fu a different future I need surgery for my hand, a different one I don't need. And the more, the more I think on it, the more crazy I feel. I know, but uh, seriously though, that this is, in general, whatever the results are and how things actually is, this is genuine a really amazing story, amazing show. I never thought Shine's Gate would make me think so much. I thought it was going to be like, oh, well, how about that? It's, 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 it's a different show and all that. But this has been a really amazing show. So, But I will be back with another episode very soon, of course, which will be a double episode most likely. So thank everyone for watching. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like for more. It means so much to me. And I will be back with more Shine's Gate. It's, I have no idea what it's going to feel like. I feel already hurt, but God damn it. So, see you later on. Most of all, though, have a continuous super great day. And before I actually do cut, the concept idea of I saying that the future already exists, this very video is a proof of that because I do know that this will be uploaded today a couple of hours in the future from when I'm recording this. 
I, I should stop talking because I'm mind fucking myself so hard right now.